Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, podcast world. It is 7 10, 2020, 12 36 a.m. And I just wanted to come to you by today and say that fear is not real. That's fear is not real, but God is. It's false evidence appearing real. And I just want you to say that half the stuff that you think about that's going to come true, that's going to come against you, doesn't. Half the stuff that you say that is, isn't. Um, just don't be afraid. It's all it takes. I was, um, I, I've really just been sitting around and I guess, I don't know, pausing and, and I don't know if it's fear or what, reluctance, I, I can't say, but something had me held up and I really been trying to figure out what to say or I really wanted to reach out and I really want more people to listen to my podcast and I really want more people coming to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I mean at the end of the day I do this uh, for the purpose of reaching more people and having more people hear what I have to say regardless of what it is and hopes that you know, this become more than what it is. Like, I want to be a full time YouTuber. I want to be a full time uh, podcast broadcaster. I, I, I want that. You know, I want to be, and I want to be heard. I want everybody to tune in and chime in and listen to me and be like, "Oh my God, this guy is the greatest." Or even if not that, you know, just take a listen to what I have to say every now and again. I mean, that's, you know, that means a lot. There's people out there that, you know, they do this. They're talking about everything out of the sun to the stimulus checks to uh, sports, you know, like any anything that they, they, you know, whatever they're into, you know. And I'm into uh, just really being, you know, putting out a, a positive message being heard letting the world know that it's gonna be okay you know um i don't know i i have so many friends and with that said i also know that a hater's gonna hate you know you got enemies or whatever and uh, it just sucks that why would you want to fix your mouth to bring another person down that's trying to go up I mean, where, where do you get off saying bad things about someone or saying lies about someone? I don't understand what if things if the things that you were saying were so true, then maybe you should go talk to somebody. Me, I I just don't get it. I mean, here I'm here. I'm living my best life right now. Despite of what's going on with the coronavirus, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I haven't got any of that unemployment money that people are getting, an extra six hundred dollars plus whatever other benefits they're throwing away. So it's a real struggle. Uh, hopefully, going through, going forward or whatever, I can get the stimulus money and that will make all the difference because there are certain things in my life that I'm interested in getting done like um, you know just more equipment or more uh, just more everything you know I just want to I just want to prosper I just want to better my life and I feel the same way when I'm when I'm talking on these uh, podcasts I just want you to better your life why wouldn't I? I mean, 
hopefully something I'm saying is coming across to you and making you think that I want to do better. I shall do better. I am not afraid. You know, I stand in bravery. And that's why when it comes down to it, one of my favorite superheroes is the Green Lantern. Because in order to be chosen, the ring chooses you. And the ring chooses you based off of lack of fear, courage. And I'm not saying that you're fearless. What I'm saying is you fear less. You understand what I'm saying? Um, There's a movie out there. And it has to do with the first um, five rings that chose and people were shocked by the fifth ring. The fifth ring chose what they call a scribe which all he was there was to record the history of the uh, the rings of uh, coming out, you know, the first five rings. And he was very underestimated and when he first when he got it he didn't understand the strength of the power of will the, the, the rings of the Green Lantern Corps are powered by willpower so when they make those uh, constructs those just whatever they so whatever they make with their ring they use the power of the ring they're using their will sheer willpower so at one point they send them out the five and they get under attack by a bunch of ships and the scribe the fifth ring um they're all pinned down and of course the scribe was like there's no instruction book with this so they just really kind of <clears throat> they're kind of using those rings as they see fit you know the best of their abilities or so they thought until the scribe was like, you know what? I'm tired of this battle. I'm tired of fighting. I'm not afraid. You know what I'm going to do? So he goes out. And I'm talking about there's like so many ships. Like the bad guys are like, they got to pit down. The scribe gets out there and basically, and here's the part I'm talking about the sure wheel of it. He was like, we have these rings for a reason. They chose us for a reason. He goes out there and he flies out. And next thing you know, he makes some like some of the biggest constructs that have ever been witnessed and seen in Green Lantern history. He was the first to do that. So um, let's say that I don't. I can't, you know, for detail tell you exactly what he made. But let's just say I'll use examples: a sword, a big sword, and he cut down the ships, and he's used, you know, just whatever, and he was taking them out. And when the other, when the other Green Lanterns, the other four at the time saw him, they raised up and they followed. The, uh, the lead of that Green Lantern described the fifth grammar he went down in history as one of the greatest if not the greatest Green Lantern ever in the Green Lantern Corps now with that being said leaders lead from the front right there's no uh, there's no doubt about it Right, when it comes down to it, as a leader, you step forward. Leaders don't step back. Leaders go forward, they move forward. Leaders don't follow, they lead. And, you know, whatever it takes, a leader is willing to give. A leader is willing to sacrifice. A leader is willing to put in the time. A leader, like I said, leads from the front. So, when a leader is asked to do something, there's no question. There's no maybe. There's no if. There is 
only when. When do you need me? What do you need me to do? How can I help you? These are the questions and replies of a leader in that capacity. As a leader, a leader will storm walls, break down uh, walls, jump over buildings, climb buildings. Like, a leader will run through fire if that's what it takes. A leader will do the impossible for his team. A leader knows that it's whatever it takes. Leaders encourage winners. Leaders inspire winners. Leaders carry you to victory. Leaders place you on a pedestal. Leaders help you become the next leader. A leader knows that its job isn't done until he sees what you see in him. What he okay? A leader knows his job isn't done until he sees in you what you see in him, and that's a leader. A leader knows that there are always other leaders and they help those leaders and rely on them they know that at some point they depend on their wingman but they also know that if a wingman is with them long enough they'll be a leader of men so at the end of the day there are certain qualities that you can't find and I'll tell you what a leader isn't afraid leaders don't leaders they might be they're they're brave bravery is all it is at the end of the day like I said there is no such thing as fear and even in the presence of fear they're brave enough to overcome it so false evidence appearing real whatever it is you might be going through or whatever it is you might be thinking about and however you uh you know whatever you're afraid of just know that God's got it there's a power greater than yours and in his hands he will take care of you and you won't have to worry about being afraid of anything not the monsters that you think are under your bed or in your closet um like you may endure as a leader you might be afraid of losing your job but I tell you if you do your part the guy will do his he will move those obstacles out of your way and you won't have anything to worry about. You will be okay. Continue being a leader today. So that way, those who follow you will follow you anywhere. Up a mountain. Over a hill. Through the water. Into the sea. It doesn't really matter what you do. If you're a leader they'll follow that's how you know you know that you're a leader a good leader if you inspire men and we all fight fear we all have afraid of something heights spiders snakes guns but I just want you to know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper no weapon formed against you shall prosper there's nothing out there that you can't overcome don't be afraid sometimes you just gotta be bold then if it requires a sacrifice then do that sacrifice your time sacrifice whatever 
just be brave. And hopefully, you know that it's there will be a reward at the end, at the end of the day. I thank y'all for listening. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm going to try to get back on track. No, I will get back on track to putting out uh, hopefully daily content on this uh, my YouTube channel, my podcast channel, alongside with my YouTube channel. And I'm just here to inspire and, and direct. I'm here to help you be brave. I'm here to lead you. I'm here so that you can hear something today that I've said that will change your life. That's why I'm here. I'm here to change lives. And I hope you are too. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, Definitely comment. And if you're interested in um, being on my show, my you know, just let me know and we can make that happen. If you got something to say, uh, hit me up, say it to my face.